What's up, folks? This is Lewis Jones with YouLearnMusic.com. Today, I am going to show you four ways to play in all keys. This will help you. Uh, when I first started, um, I actually started reading music first, and then I started playing by ear. Um, and this is what prompted me to come up with this. So this is what I did. Step one, you have to know all of your scales. Some of you C, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, back to C. Seven notes. That's number one. Got to know all 12 of your scales. So all 12. Got to know all 12 scales. All right. So we're going to go back to C. And be able to do it with both hands. All right, got to know all 12 scales. That's step one. Number two, you have to know each chord that's associated with that particular scale degree. What I mean by that, go back to C. You should be able to play C chord. And then you got the D, D minor chord, E, E minor chord, F. F chord, G, G chord, A, A minor, B, B diminished, and then you back to C. So you got your C major scale, and then you have each chord that's associated with each key. And so I played all 12 of my scales, and then I figured out the chord that goes to each. You should be able to do that in every single key. And yes, it's more. Uh, I forgot where I'm at. F. I'm in, I'm in G. And notice I'm using both hands because you're a piano player. Play with both hands. So you want to. Whatever key that you struggle with or that you find that you don't love, work in that key the most of the chords that's associated with the key. Step three, um, back to C. Learn how to play those in-between notes. So remember, C is just all white notes. But then you have these in-between notes, the black notes. Because we're in the key of C, it just so happens to be the black notes here. But in the other keys, it's, it's different notes. But learn how to play those in-between notes. So now I went from doing this to now I'm doing this. Uh, and pay attention to my left hand because you'll be able to follow it. So I'm going here, figuring out what chord goes with the black notes here. So now I really got everything covered. All right, so... So that's step three, playing all those in-between notes. And again, um, take it up a step. So I'm in D flat, C sharp. You want to do the same thing? Play those in-between notes. And D, and so on and so forth. That's step three. And you want to do that for all 12 scales and 12 keys. And again, it's some work. All right. So that's step three. Step four. All right. Um, you want to figure out different ways to get, get the different keys. So we call that in the music world uh, progressions. Progressions is just a, a group of chords. That's it. So if I'm in the key of C, let's say my destination is F. Right. So just figure out different ways to get to F. Um, so I can use a G minor to a C and then finally get to an F. You feel that pull and that tug. And as you get advanced, you start learning different chords. You know, just different, uh, different things.
the first step, learn all of your major scales. Second step, learn all of the chords that go with your major scales. And then the third step is learn those in-between chords. So in-between notes, that's not a part of the major scale. So again, I'm in the key of C. All right, and then step four is learn how to get to certain notes known as progressions. Um, so if I want to get to the key, I'm in C, and I want to get to F, I can go here. Remember, I can go G minor, C, and then to the F. And, um, and I'm going to add a fifth step. <laughs> so a fifth step is to, so you know all your regular chords now, the fifth step is to voice them differently. So let's say I'm in I'm, I'm in C, I'm F, and then G, and then I want to go to C. Instead of doing that, I'm gonna voice it F, G, and I'm gonna use a this is called a, a D flat major seven chord. So that's that's just voicing the chord a little differently. All right, so four steps plus a bonus step. All right, enjoy.